Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out to speak with all of us today. No worries. So, I mean, with the series being like, you know, not nine seasons in now. I mean, thank you. What has it been like for you guys to, you know, watch the fan base continuously grow for this? I mean, you just see more and more like the popularity. It's all over social media and all of that. It's been a trip. It's been uh, really exciting. Um, you know, being a, a Canadian production and not actually being on a television channel of any kind. Uh, you know, there was no way of knowing uh, if it was going to be received uh, at all, much less how well it was going to be received. And the fact that now we're five years later, nine seasons in, and, uh, you know, we've been able to parlay it into successful tours. We're uh, a beer has launched off of the popularity of the show. Uh, we've had um, Brad Pitt and Edward Norton uh, talk about their love of the show. Like it, it's it's mind blowing. There's no way to predict it, and uh, it's endlessly thrilling to watch watch it happen. Yeah, I would agree and say that, you know, the folks that also like seem to love to watch it have such a like love for the wordplay and the specificities and like to dive into it and watch the show a lot. And like, you know, I think that that's super fun, too, to see how closely folks are watching it and yeah. you know, loving the intricacies of it. It's great. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even just, you know, looking up stuff online that there was like a complete Wikipedia for just the, the dialogue alone, like on the show. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, with, you know, speaking of the wordplay, so which would you say, you know, of the, the actors involved, who has the best or deepest vocabulary of the entire cast? You mean of the characters? Yeah, with the wordplay. Well, I mean, Kiso uh, being co head writer, uh, you know, a lot of it comes from, from his own mind. So, uh, He's uh, he's he's got quite the grasp about what he wants to do and and uh, how he wants to do it. Um, he, uh, so he's so for sure solid uh, vocab. Same with uh, same with Glenn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you yeah. know, my, my character's whole thing is messing up the vocab. I just uh, malapropisms and turn of phrases so the, the hard part for me is, is uh, when it's all done going back to speaking normally <laughs> yeah i would say probably the skids have a pretty expansive vocabulary as well yeah. they've yeah. got a lot of you know video game and music knowledge <laughs> that they're always kind of throwing around for sure Oh, without a doubt. So, I mean, you have such amazing chemistry together as a cast. And, you know, can you talk about what it's like working together? And, you know, is any of the comedy allowed to be ad-libbed in, or is it all pretty much, you know, from the script? It's very much from the script. Uh, very much what we do is the words that are written for us. Uh, Jared and Jacob have always been very generous and very open to suggestions. So if we have an idea we have a tag or if we have something we want to try uh they're always open for it uh and you know if they don't think it's going to work they'll tell you straight up they don't think it's going to work but uh you know it is because it's so much dialogue and the pacing is so rapid fire um we have to have a a, a big full grasp of what's actually on the page before yeah. we can from it because we always have to come back to it even if we do throw an improv We've got to bring it right back to the to what's there, or else we've thrown off the whole scene. So it's, it's very much it performed well enough that it seems impromptu. Mm -hmm. And the fun thing about it too is that there's so many things that come back. Like you know, you have jokes that come back over the episode or over the season. So mm -hmm. you know, it's also like those are all things that are built into the writing of the show. Absolutely. So I mean. What would you say for each one of you personally do you take away from your characters? Is there anything you were surprised to learn about yourself as you continue to delve into these roles? I don't know uh, if I was surprised to, to learn about myself. Uh, you know, I don't know if I've learned too much myself from playing Dan, but uh, uh, playing this character has... Um, uh, 
you know, I've enjoyed Dan's journey of becoming a an ally and uh, you know a forward thinking progressive farmer, and it's a lot of fun to play a character that could easily be pigeonholed into sort of one dimensional caricature and uh, developing him into uh, uh, you know a, a fully formed uh, human, completely outside of what people would expect if they just saw this show on paper. Yeah, I think for Gail, it's just been fun to play a character who's so open and wild and just, um, she just says exactly what she wants, you know, and uh, she doesn't really, she doesn't really hold back, which I think is a lot of fun to play. Um, and it's just fun to dive into the comedy of her. It's great. So it's just getting to do something that unlike any other character that I've played before. Definitely. And I mean, the series, what I love so much is that it's so inclusive of all people, all stereotypes and everything. Can you can you guys talk about that a little bit? Because I think that's what, you know, appeals so much to fans or something for everyone to be able to relate to. I, I don't even know how much of a conscious decision it was to be an inclusive show as much as it was just we're kind of an inclusive group. Like, it's not like, oh, we have to do this to click this. You know, like we're not. Mm -hmm. it's just what interests us what you know entertains us and what do we stories do we want to tell and it's this idea you know that comes from being a small town is everyone's different but you're going to have to learn how to love and live with each other anyway so uh, it's been this great thing where you know no one is really overly judgmental of anyone else I mean we, we've got complaints but it's like, look, all in all, you may be into some weird stuff, but you're a good guy so or a good gal, so we're going to hang out with you anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have each other's back, definitely. Absolutely. So, I mean, with plans in the works for season 10 and 11, where would you like to see things progress? I mean, I know I'm sure that, um, you know, COVID has put a little bit of a, a hamper on the on the production schedule for sure. Yeah, unfortunately, we uh, we were supposed to go back to work in the summer, but COVID restrictions to that, so we're scheduled to go back to work in the spring on on both seasons uh, back to back. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting back. This is the longest uh, I've gone without playing Dan between uh, the show and the the live touring show. This is the longest stretch I've gone without being having anything to do with Letter Kenny uh, in in since we probably the first season so i just missed the character i'm just looking forward to stepping back into those boots i never thought i'd say this i'm looking forward to putting on those overalls again and uh <laughs> and just uh you know sitting down at the produce stand i'm looking forward to seeing my friends and honestly seeing people uh <laughs> yep without yeah. a doubt I would agree with all of that. I mean, it's 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 been a long time since we've been there. But I think what's exciting about it is that there's so many different things you get to do. There's wordplay, there's fights, there's like the group coming together. Like there's a lot of variety in what we get to do. It'll just be fun to play and um, just have fun again in that way that, you know, it's been over a year now. So it'd be nice to get back to it. Absolutely. I mean, where do you hope that your characters are going to go? Is there anything that you'd like to kind of explore that you haven't yet? You know, every time I like look at the scripts, I'm always like surprised. <laughs> so, you know, like I truly was like, oh, now, you know, Gail like is a dog breeder, like all these wild things that happen. So I really don't have anything specific, but I, I just I know that they're going to come up with some fun and wild stuff that will be unexpected by me for sure. Maybe I'll get another hat. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. That's a, that's pushing it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Although Gail did get a new pair of jeans, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> well, it's great that you guys have that trust too in in the writers and and producers and everything to know that they're gonna come up with something interesting and unexpected. So it's gotta make it a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's always a good time. Uh, you know, you open the scripts and and you have a good chuckle. And then we get together and film it and we have an even bigger chuckle. It's, uh, it's a fun group and it's a fun show. And uh, we're, we're very lucky to have it. Great. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. So thank nice you. to talk with you. <laughs>